At that time, when the crowds were increasing, Jesus began to say, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. For as Jonah became a sign to the people of Nineveh, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. The Queen of the South will rise up at the judgment with the men of this generation and condemn them. For she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and behold, something greater than Solomon is here. The men of Nineveh will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and behold, something greater than Jonah is here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, some of the people who were around Jesus believed that they were leading a life that is pleasing to God. They believed so because of their participation in the rituals. They believed that they are close to God. But Jesus called them a wicked generation, an evil generation. Why? They were asking, they were seeking for a sign from Jesus. They sought for a sign, not to see the sign and to believe in Jesus. But they were looking for another reason to reject the Lord, to reject the Son of God. In the Gospel we see Jesus performing many miracles. And all those who were around Jesus saw what happened at each miracle, at each healing. Whenever Jesus preached, there were so many people around him. All of them heard what Jesus said. On the one hand, people saw what he did. On the other hand, people heard what Jesus said and preached. Whoever has ears can hear. Whoever has eyes can see. But that's not enough. We need a heart to understand Jesus. We need a heart to accept the message of Jesus. That was lacking in the people who sought the sign from him. And Jesus said, there is only one sign that will be given to them. That is the sign of Jonah. When Jonah preached, there was a conversion, a repentance. People were converted. But here, now people are not ready to listen to him. They are not paying attention to see him. My dear brothers and sisters, how do we look at Jesus? How do we listen to his word? In every day of our life, in Eucharist, and as we meditate the word of God. We ask for the grace to see him closely so that we may grow in our faith in Him. We pray for the grace to listen to Him attentively so that we may produce more fruits of conversion and repentance. Let us not harden our hearts, but listen to His voice every day. Amen.